That is, big swarm, yeah, that's me. I've got my picture on the door, man, yeah. Yeah, representing, representing. Today we're doing, um, just sort of finishing up and doing the last little bits for the fight camp. I think the mindset with this gym, there's no easy days. Like today, it's a hard grinding session and they get your mind right. They get you to the level that you need to. And I've been here now, 10 years coming up. When I came here, it was tough. It still is tough. And I think that's, that's how you build yourself, is having those hard rounds, having those days you want to quit, having those days you don't want to be at the gym. And I think it's one of the best decisions I've made. Nothing's changed much for me. The biggest thing is that we've now got a new roster. I fought most of the, the Bellator heavyweights and I ranked, was ranked number one. So I beat most of them, ready to fight for the title. So now I've got a whole new pool of new heavyweights to, to fight. Nice, nice. So I'm fighting Denis Gutzlov, top contender. He's, I'd probably say, number ranked number one, number two in the PFL rankings. I'm ranked number one in the Bellator rankings. We match up perfectly. And I wouldn't want nothing less. Hard work on three, hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work! Woo, woo, woo. When I first came to America, I kind of toured a little bit, went to a few different gyms for a few weeks. It was the last gym that I was going to spend my time at. And I loved it that much that I ended up staying for my whole camp that I was meant to be doing back home. Just obviously fell in love with, you know, Florida, the gym. It just, as soon as I kind of walked in here, I just knew that it was going to be, you know, a place that I was going to fit in really well. My grappling and uh, wrestling has been something that I've had to work on from the very beginning. You know, having such a high level striking game, every opponent that I've kind of faced has wanted to take me down and I'm sure the rest will as well. I've only been here um, for my first camp, you know, to start this season off and already I've seen such big changes. But that's just purely down to the coaches that I've got around me and the, um, the confidence that they've got in my progression as well. The quarter is on my list of a potential champion. I mean, she fought on the PFL Europe last year. She won the title. I was sitting by her mom, and we basically say the word vicious, almost together, you know, relating to Dakota. I definitely see Dakota with a very bright potential future in saying she will definitely leave her mark. It's a um, cold therapy chamber. Need it for my body, for my bones. Get my body right. Get me feeling good. Regenerize. Gina! Hi! Lynn Tannen's been a client of mine and their friend for eight years. Yeah, eight years, yeah. You are so long. That's a, a long warm. time. You are so long. So, this is the chamber <laughs> that we're going to go into. Yes. See the temperature going up? I think when I was younger, I didn't really I take care of my body as much with the recovery, massages, the cold therapy treatment. Woo! Wow! Ready. I didn't really know too much about it. And then as I got older, my body wasn't recovering as, as it used to. So I met Gina and I've been using the uh, cryo for about eight years. And um, it's probably one of the best things that I've done, you know, for recovery. Each. And I think that's probably why I've got such longevity. I've seen his journey, and it's just progressed and like, better and better and better. It's, it's helped me a long way anyway. Like, I'm, I'm five fights, five wins, and I think I'm just going, going straight up to the top. I came to this gym about eight and a half years ago. 
whenever it was still the Black Zillions. You know, I was just a fresh-faced kid looking to get a start in MMA, looking to elevate my game to the maximum amount of my potential. You know, sharpen my skill set in a way that I might not have been able to do at home or at some other place. Just because it's my first season, I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge of kind of seeing how, how a season format fits in. Just from the outside looking in, it seems very nice. Be one of those those guys that was asked to come over and, and compete for the PFL is a huge honor. And I'm very grateful that you know I was just given the opportunity to compete and not just compete but compete at the highest level amongst the other best guys in the world. Oleg Popov, first and foremost, a pressure guy. He comes forward and he wrestles. One minute. One minute to win. You know, I, I've seen him overwhelm a lot of dudes just with good top pressure, good good takedowns, good wall wrestling. I'm no slouch either when it comes to the wrestling. I'm no slouch either when it comes to the wall work. I think skill for skill, I'm, I not only match where he's at, but I think there's a lot of places that I'm better than him. It makes me very proud to think that she's followed in my footsteps and gone on to do um, competitive fight in a much higher level than I was, I would think, at some point, so. <laughs> she walked through the European League, uh, which, you know, I expected her to do. She's incredibly strong, incredibly fit and dedicated to what she does. She works really hard. Obviously, she's got some natural ability in her genes, but that doesn't take you to the top. There's nobody more than Dakota that will say she's ready for the next stage, you know, to fight um, at a higher level. She needs that higher competition, and I'm sure she's got that this year in this league. Uh, the standard is really high, she knows that. She's confident that she can beat these girls, and, um, and I'm confident that she's, she can do it as well. So. It's a really important part for me to be able to click with, you know, a striking coach because I've worked with my mum and my brother so much. That's what I've been really lucky to find here with Anderson, you know, somebody that, um, you know, works the same way as me, can improve my game still, but not have to change me too much. I know I'm going to go in there and win, so, you know, it's going to, whether it's a tough fight or not, I'm, I'm ready. Um, I think it's a really good matchup for my first one. Um, you know, she's had a few stoppages, I've had a few stoppages, so I'm expecting a good fight, but um, I know what I'm capable of when I get in there, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> my striking was probably my weakest part of my game. I'd always finish people on the ground, whether it be um, ground and pound or submissions. And then I lost three fights in a row. So it got to the point where I was looking to retire. And I met Chuck, and Chuck pretty much changed my whole game. We've been working together since 2019, and I say one of the biggest inspirations I've had, and he's helped me so much in my in my footwork and my and my striking game. He never had any training with footwork and balance, so that's what we concentrated on for the first year, year and a half. All footwork, all balance, shortened our feet up, in and out, in and out angles. Shoot that angle jab all the time. His work ethic, his physical abilities, is he's smart. Listen, at his age, he switched his whole style and he just, you know, he taught himself something new. And he worked at it every day, he worked at it. You know, most fighters, when they get into their 30s, mid 30s, that's it, they're locked in. I just stand, I said, look, here's what we're gonna do. We wanna try it? He said, yeah. And we bought in, both of us. There's that movement, see it? Finish out of there. He's probably the best striker right now around in the game, anywhere. Magic touch, you know? Ovdje se super osjećam, već sam se borio u Teksasu, borio sam se u Dallastu, 
u Dallasu, tamo sam pobjedio borbu i ostalim je u lijepom sjećanju. San Antonio je prekrasan i odušeljen sam grada. Ok, Ante, strap a glove on. Working those gloves, there you go. Looking at camera, excellent, really nice. Osjećam se odlučno, mislim da sam u svom primu, mislim da je konkurencija jaka, ali jednostavno želim se boriti sa najboljim i želim pokazati da sam tu najbolji. That's perfect. Now just look at this camera and say, I'm back. Three, two, one. I'm back. Good.